Murder Firewall Data Breaches. What is an NDB and the role of the OAIC? Now, the Office of the Australian Information Commissioner, the OAIC, is an independent national regulator who is contactable in relation to matters related to privacy and freedom of information. They support individuals in accessing government-held information stored about them, as well as provide guidance on the protection of data. All right, so that is the role of this specific group, okay? So if there is uh, data and you're worried about privacy or you want to know what's stored about you on a government system, the OISC is who you would contact. Now, as said, we're talking about them because we're really talking about Notified Data Breaches. So an NDB, or the Notified Data Breach Scheme, was established to ensure that organisations governed by the Privacy Act 1988 notify any affected party as well as the OIC in the event that there's been a security breach in relation to data. Okay, the NDB may be related to an organization just losing an individual's data. Okay, but it could also be that the data has been accidentally disclosed to another party or that their databases have been breached by unauthorized access. Okay, they've been hacked. Okay, and someone's got in there and looked at their data. Okay, so in that instance, an organization is required to create an NDB, okay, and they need to notify the OAIC and any affected party. So what does that involve? Well, we've got to do a report, okay, we've got to report an NDB. So and if NDB has occurred, an organization is required to take the following steps. Firstly, okay, they've got to make a report to the OAIC, okay, and this can be done via their website, which you can see on the right here, okay, they make a report there, they go to the website and they fill in the online form. What date was it? What type of data was accessed? Okay, how many people might be affected? A whole variety of things about that. Okay, so that gets re needs to be reported to the AIC. As already said, then the second group that needs to be reported to is that of the people who are affected, the customers. Okay, they need to be informed. So the organization need to give their name, their contact details, and a description of the data breach. So essentially, they need to be contactable by their customers. Okay, so they can find out more information about the data breach. And essentially, as with the next point, identify the types of information that were obtained. Okay, customers can find out that from the organization. What did the hacker obtain during this hack? Okay, and the reason they need to know this is because if it is something like bank details, the customer needs to change their bank details. Okay, they might have found out their address information, they could have found out phone numbers, names of family members through emergency contacts. Okay, that needs to be told to the customer. Yeah, and then obviously that might cause a lot of panic for the customer. So the third point is, they then need to be able to try their best to provide recommendations for the individual to take. Okay, and it could be change certain passwords. Okay, it could be get into contact with the OAIC themselves for support and see what they can do. Okay, um, and obviously they need to keep the individual updated with the process going on, okay, in order to rectify the matter. Okay, but essentially that's what an NDB is. When it's a data, okay, has been breached, Okay, and when that happens, organizations need to react, okay, and let people know. So I hope this video has given you understanding of notified data breaches. Okay, essentially the role that the Office of the Australian Information Commissioner play in relation to privacy and freedom of information, how they're contactable by both organizations and uh, individuals in relation to obtaining government held information, but also the fact that they're the people who are reportable for notifiable data breaches, okay, and that when a notifiable data breach has taken place, Place, that organizations need to report it to the AIC as well as let the actual customers know what information was hacked, when did it take place and what they should do.